Now I'm just gonna stand here and look around the room and see if I can figure out what in the world I need to do next. I just love it so, so much. That's the game plan. And I'm gonna sip on my coffee while I do that. Hey everyone, my name is Katie and I am going to be starting my fifth year of teaching this year in the third grade. And I'm so glad you're here for today's video. Today's video is going to be part three of classroom setup and you might be thinking, Katie, you are not in your classroom. I know I'm not. I'm going to start prepping some things here at home and then take them up sometime, hopefully this week to put in my classroom. Um, I'm hoping to hang in my classroom. Uh, my plan is to print out some of the things that I got from a classroom decor bundle. Now, let me put this out here. I have not actually ever purchased a full classroom decor bundle for my classroom. I've done themes my first couple years and I had teachers who had resources that they shared with me and um, great, we did things as a grade level in the hallway. And so I've done like camping theme, I've done ocean theme, we did race car theme. This last year I had no theme and I've never like bought a pack that's like a classroom theme or a bundle because I just never wanted to invest that much in it. Now, things are not changing this year because I did not buy an entire bundle, but I did go through Rachel Burnett's Rainbow Remix bundle on Teachers Pay Teachers because the bright colors and the smiley faces and all of those things, I just love it so, so much. And I really want my classroom to be a happy space this year. So she had a sale not too long ago. I don't know if it's on sale anymore when you're seeing this, so I'm so sorry, but you should still go check out her pack. I will post a picture of it right here and I will link it below in the description. I picked out just a couple of resources from this decor pack that I needed. She has tons and tons and tons and tons of great ones and the whole pack is amazing. I didn't personally feel like I was able to spend that much on getting the whole pack and I also didn't need everything. like teaching third grade, I felt like I didn't really need to buy new color posters to hang because I think my wall space will be devoted to something other than just like colors, if that makes sense. But some of the things that I did get include schedule cards. I got her border pack because I just feel like that would be a really cute extra touch to the border and the paper that I already have and I saved from last year. I got her number line because I don't have a number line to go in my classroom. And what else did I get? I feel like there was something else. Oh, I got the little buntings that you use for headers like above your boards and I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with those yet. I mean, I know I'm going to use them as headers, but I'm not exactly sure like how I'm going to label them yet. So I may not be printing those today, but I know for sure today I'm going to at least start printing my number line and my alphabet, which I didn't get from the Rainbow Remix. I'm using my environmental print alphabet that I have made. I'll kind of pop up what it looks like right here. Um, I just replaced it this year to use cursive since I will be teaching cursive and I need that reference up on my wall. So I think I'll be printing those things today. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. So I'm about to take y'all with me over into the office and get started with printing and laminating things. And then hopefully later this week, I'll be able to take them up into my room and kind of hang them up and decide where I want things. I don't usually cry at all, but wow is it always close, ranging from a movie scene to main a people in my dream. The last time if I recall Was a feeling of being alone I don't know if Where I'm going isn't far But in case I go No need to be stressed Gotta take it home, get there I really miss the shame All right, it is Tuesday morning, July 5th. Um, I prepped a lot of that stuff on Sunday night, printed a ton of stuff on the computer, and now my plan is to take it to school, and I gotta get to work on some laminating and some cutting, and I'm also going to work on some spray painting. I'm going to paint with the matte spray paint so it doesn't have as much of a glare. I'll show you that when I go to Walmart because I've got to pick up another container. I know I have one in my classroom, but I don't know if I have enough. Oh, by the way, welcome to our living room while we're here. Gave you a tour of the kitchen last time. So here's like our little living room. And then here is all the stuff I'm taking with me. So this bag is stuff that's already laminated. 
that I did at home. It's my alphabet and those labels that I meant to do last time. And then also my cute little Sony Clover inspired letters for my name. This bag is stuff that needs to be laminated. So I'm gonna laminate these at school. Little banners, book bin numbers and borders. And then these, oh, that's gonna fall. These also need to be laminated. I have my number line that I made and I made it in three strips because look at that. I mean, those strips turned out really long. So I went ahead and cut it just with my scissors and then taped it together on the back. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. Taped it together on the back and then I'm gonna take it to the school laminator because I can just run it through and I thought that'd be way easier than doing all of those little chunks in my personal laminator and it being really difficult. And then I also have my skip counting numbers. I put them in this little folder so they don't blow away. Um, so I'm taking all of that stuff. First thing I need to do though is I've gotta to go to Walmart to get more of the matte spray while I'm out. Starbucks is doing half off drinks on Tuesdays for the month of July. So I think I'm gonna pick up one of those because I still have a gift card left and when it's half off, like I'm paying like two bucks for a Starbucks drink. So let's do, let's go and it's on a gift card. And then um, I'm gonna go up to school, turn the laminator on hopefully if I can figure out how to do that. I know where it is. I just got like, I haven't, I've used laminators before but never used the laminator here. So that'll be interesting. Um, and then I'm going to, while it's heating up, spray these and then laminate these. That's the game plan. Let's see how much of that actually happens. I'm not really sure, but we'll see what we get done today. We'll just make it a productive work day. Just take it slow. Right, I made it in and I secured the coffee. I got a grande, what did I get? A grande vanilla cream cold brew. Super excited for that. It'll be very refreshing. Um, now what I'm gonna do is go find the media center and turn on the laminator so that'll get heated up and ready to go for all the things I need to laminate. Gosh, look at, like that was just from carrying my backpack in. Rub my shoulder raw and it is so, so hot out there. That's why I'm wearing like a tank top and shorts and my hair back today because I'm gonna be out in like the little foyer area outside spraying that stuff with the matte spray and it gonna get toasty, it's gonna be so toasty. Um, so I'm gonna go find the laminator, turn it on so it can start heating. Then I'm gonna come back and set up and spray my alphabet. That's the game plan. And I'm gonna sip on my coffee while I do that. Oh my, I miss the sun. Just wait, it won't be too long to To keep it all together ever since we left I guess it just makes sense to what the reasoning was when I said in case I go Okay, I don't know if you can tell how sweaty I am, but it is so hot outside. I just finished doing all of the laminating that I needed to do today. And here it is. Here it sits on the floor. So I'm about to jam to some music or watch some YouTube and cut it out. But I was like, oh, I don't know where my scissors are. I just got so lucky, y'all. Look here. I was like, okay, I knew my scissors were somewhere over here. Because if I remembered correctly, I put like a lot of my desk stuff in these. And then I saw this down here. And I was like, oh, that little container right there is for my teacher desk. I pulled it out. And both pairs of my scissors are right there. I don't know if you can see them. So I found them both like in the first try, which is so exciting. Yay. So I'm about to have a little cutting party by myself, just sitting here cutting laminate. I could take it home, but well, what I'm gonna start with, let me pull up YouTube while I'm talking. What I'm gonna start with is the um, things that I need to spray. So like I have my skip counting numbers and I want to spray those with the matte paint too. Let me set y'all up on the tripod here. I want to spray those with the matte spray, just like I did my alphabet. So I'm gonna start with those, that way I can like put them out there and spray them. And then the rest of the stuff that I have to do, I'm not gonna spray with matte spray because, I mean, I could do my number line, but it's gonna be like three long strips, which would fit on the plastic out there. Maybe I'll do the number line, but I'm definitely gonna start with these numbers and then we'll just keep going from there. I'm probably not gonna hang anything. Today is literally just laminating, cutting, spraying. Laminate, cut, spray. Can you see the pattern? And y'all, my cheeks are so rosy. But it's kind of funny because as I was doing 
stuff and like getting stuff ready, I remembered from my classroom setup videos last year, I was like, I should have known this was gonna be a very exhausting and like hot day. Cause I remember the setup video that I did last year when I put stuff outside and I was like a tomato. So here we are all tomato today. Um, nothing has changed. Nothing has changed except my theme, kind of. I'm just changing, adding some things to make it look cute. But I'm, I, I really wouldn't even say I'm going for like a whole new theme. Yes, I bought things from a decor bundle, but I'm not doing like every inch of my room in that theme. I'm still gonna use a lot of stuff that I had, still using the same background paper, the same black border, just adding some pops of flair. I really want this place to be like my happy place. Like I wanna come in and see all this fun stuff that I did and I worked hard to put up and I want it to make me smile when I come in. So there we go. That's, that's what we're doing. Enough rambling, it's time to get started. No need to be stressed, gotta take it focus day. I really miss the shade of blue. Just take it slow. I'll wait to find love, better hear the call again. For now, I will feel the ocean view. And I pray that it won't. All right, people. I am looking so rough. I should fix this clip while I'm talking to you. Um, I just finished cutting the last of the laminate. Look how shiny my face is and everything. Y'all, Florida heat is something, something else. I'm so glad I'm inside. I'm so glad the air conditioning is working in here. It's still really, really hot, but I'm glad it's working. Okay, so I finished cutting everything out. So now the next thing that I think I'm gonna do is I can go ahead and put the bulletin board border up around my two boards. I need to piece together the better than paper to go on the back wall. So I think I can do that. And then I'm also thinking I can hang my alphabet. And I'm so grateful because there's a quirk strip. Let me show you, I'm gonna spin you around. Here we go. Woo, hey Maylene. Okay, quirk strip right here. And that is incredible because I don't have to use tape to hang my alphabet. So I'm just gonna like figure out the two letters that are in the center, work from the middle and go out to center it on that cork strip. But I was like, oh, that's so great because that's way less tape that I have to use for that. So I think those are my three goals. I'm gonna go ahead and start, mm, I don't know which one I'm gonna do first. Maybe I'll start with the alphabet first so I feel productive because that one should be easy peasy. And then we'll continue from there. All right, here's the alphabet. There's still a glare, even after I sprayed it with that stuff, um, but it's not as bad. I really like it, I think it turned out good. Fun fact about me, I am not scared to stand up on desks or tables or anything to hang things around the room. In fact, my first year teaching, I would always stand up on like desks and tables and it like never failed. My principal would come in the room when I was like standing on the counter, putting something up on the wall. And he'd always be like, okay, I'm not looking, I'm not looking. Cause it would freak him out and he'd get nervous. And I'm like, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm really stable. And so I would um, do it quickly. But it was like every time he came down the hallway, I was standing on something to hang something. So there you go. But this year it was much better cause I had these desks and those were really really stable just then when I hung that alphabet and last year my kiddos had the triangle shaped desks and those are not stable to stand on so it was a lot harder to stand on a desk to hang things in fact this table right here or this desk was sturdier than this table when I stood on this table like I tried to put my tripod up there so I could get a close-up of me hanging stuff but it was like weeble wobble so I don't even know if I'll use that footage or if I did use it like you saw how wobbly it was so I was kind of surprised by that, but the alphabet turned out good, yay! Okay, one thing done. I could not be more excited about how easy that was. I just had to measure it out that the board is 11 inches tall. I got two strips 
that match exactly, first and second one. And then the third one didn't match exactly, but I still got these two like wood grain lines to line up. And then that last one's just thinner. So there's the extra one, but from a distance, you can't like really even tell. It just looks like one continuous piece. So Kim, if you're watching, you should be so proud of my piecing together skills. Nothing compared to how she does her wooden wall elementary in the mitten. If you don't follow her, you should. Um, but she has pieced together like a better than paper wooden wall in like her last three classrooms. Crazy, crazy. And I know her mom helps her too, but I just had a little board. I'm really proud. I'm really excited because it turned out great. I kind of started moving some things around and I wanted to show you what I did. I was thinking that these would fit perfectly under the counter and they did. I can't move it all the way flush because there's like a piece of wood. Can you see that? That holds it. Um, so they have to sit right there, but I was thinking about, hold on, my arm's tired. I'm gonna put you on the tripod. Okay, much better. I'm still like a little shaky from my cold brew. So I need to take a break from standing on furniture and from holding the phone. Okay, so here's what I did. I had these containers on the counter over here and I moved them here because I know they'll fit flush. Now I can't decide if that's where I want to keep them or not because I usually use that for like small group materials. I use one of them for small group materials. The other one I use for textbooks. So I won't need that anymore because the students have plenty of space to keep textbooks in their desk. So I can always take one or those are like really cheap and I could buy another one if I need one for small groups. But I also have my rolling carts. Okay, that was a lot of information. Um, so after my first classroom setup video, y'all gave me lots of good suggestions for what to do with these cubbies. And I decided I'm gonna make like a student center where my kiddos can get all of their um, supplies and stuff since they're in third grade. And I am gonna trust them to like access the supplies, right? I, don't, I haven't figured out how I'm gonna do the management for that yet, so stay tuned. But <laughs> I was thinking Hobby Lobby has those cute plastic basket. And I was like, oh, I could do those all in these cubbies. And I got the supply labels from Rachel Burnett's pack, the Rainbow Remix ones, and I'll label them. But now I'm like, okay, these look good right here in their drawers, which is way easier than a basket. So I'm thinking like maybe I could put like pencils, crayons, scissors, glue, and stuff in those baskets. But then I still have all these cubbies. But I also want to do stem bins. And so I could use these some of these cubbies for stem bins, etc. I've got like my paper container right here. And I feel like that looks nice. So this kind of makes a nice little um, student area. I'm still trying to figure it out. Like I'm still trying to figure it out. I also would like want to put the mailboxes that are up here over here, but that mailbox thing is really heavy. I don't know if I want to try to move it on my own. And when you move it, as you can see, all of the shelves fall down. So I don't know if I want to move that by myself or if I want to be like, David, you want to come on the way to work and help me move something? Um, or I might just try it. Come on, girl, you're strong. Be strong. To keep it all together ever since we left I guess it just makes sense to what the princess Don't have enough border printed, which is fine. I knew I wouldn't. So I think I'm going to do it like this. I was thinking maybe just doing the border by itself, which isn't bad. But then I kind of like just like the hint of black to distinguish it from the wood. So I'm gonna have to print more. I did not measure. I wrote it down like when I measured these boards to cover them, but I didn't have that paper at home when I printed the border. Yeah, from a distance, I definitely like the black. So I um, just guessed and printed out some borders. So I'm gonna have to print out some more, which is totally fine. Now I kind of know how big it is. I'm just like looking at it from afar. I like it. So I'm gonna do this one on this board and then I think I'll go ahead and like cover as much as I can for the border on the other board. I think I'm gonna do this one with the lightning on the board that's near me because I really like the lightning one. And then that leaves this one with the star. Um, I don't think I'm going to do this one on the back board though because these are kind of thick. I think like the back long one, I'm just going to use the black because it's skinnier and that board's not very big. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to print more of that at home. It's fine. I was expecting that. Um, yeah, but it looks cute. I like it so far.
I just accomplished two more things. Black border up here, which I think that's gonna be my student work display if I haven't said that already. Um, I'm almost out of black border though. So I'm gonna have to go to, I think it was Office Depot that I got that out last year um, and get some more. I'm very grateful though, because everything that I'm using, all this black border I used last year and I just saved it. And so that is a win. Like I just took it down from my boards and kept it and took all the staples out and it stayed nice. And I stored it with like a binder clip. I should have showed you. I had all the strips like laying on top of each other and a binder clip at the top. And that's how I moved it. And that worked pretty well. But I opened my last package. I think I have three strips left, which this is done, but I'm gonna need them for my front boards for sure. So, and maybe that back one, if I still decide to do that back one. And then I did move this. I used this cart right here to help me. I don't know if that cart was meant to hold that much weight, but it did. <laughs> And it was good, I moved it here. I'm probably gonna redo the numbers. So I think what I'll do is probably peel this tape off maybe. I ought to try that today and just see if that's even possible. Um, and I still feel like there's enough room. I was kind of wanting this counter to be like a place where I could put a center for my kiddos. Okay, there we go. I was kind of wanting this to be like a counter where I could put a center and my students could work here um, if they needed like another space that wasn't at their desk and that leaves enough space if I leave the rest of this counter clear, which I should be able to because the rest of the supplies are going to go like in the cubbies over there. So I like how this looks. We're going to keep it here. And now I'm just going to stand here and look around the room and see if I can figure out what in the world I need to do next. All right, here's the last thing I did, and I did not film myself hanging it, but that's okay. I put this border that I had left over right here on that strip. I need to print more to put up here, but I went ahead and did that because I had that cute star one and I didn't have anywhere to put it since I already did the front two boards with different border. I was like, okay, we'll just put that one there and it'll be cute. And that's it. I am finishing here. Let me do a pan of the room so you can see what it looks like. I've kind of moved some stuff around to clear the floor back off just in case the custodial staff comes back in that way there's not stuff everywhere but let me show you all right here's my little desk area i'm gonna do the top of that later and put my letters up there here's the front here's all the mess that i just rearranged where i'm gonna hang student work and do my supply center like here i also found a good spot to put my pencil sharpener because the cord goes around behind the counter and down and plugs in where the chromebook cart plugs in and I got all this lovely stuff. Okay, y'all, and I think this is where I'm gonna end part three video. I have no clue how long this is or how much footage I got. I feel like I've done like a ton of stuff because I hung a bunch of stuff and I spray painted stuff. So I just feel like it's getting long. And if I add another day, it'll probably be too long. So <laughs> we're gonna end part three. Ow something on my knee. Anyways, we're going to end part three right here. So thank you guys so much for watching part three of my video. I feel like it's starting to get a little more exciting. There's more color going up in the room. It's not just unpacking boxes. It's actually thinking through where I want to put things and all of that fun stuff. So make sure you stay tuned because there will be a part four. I don't know how many parts there's going to end up being, but there's definitely going to be a part four because clearly it's not done. It is just the beginning of July, so I still have time. Hallelujah, because I want this to be done before August 1st. So when I come in for those in-service days, I can be working on my plans. That is the plan. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> if you haven't watched part one and part two and you're interested, I will link that playlist, my classroom setup playlist above in the cards so you can check it out. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Click subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Feel free to comment any suggestions, comments, concerns, whatever in the in the um, comments. I was gonna say in the caption, <laughs> in the comments below. I love seeing y'all's ideas for classroom setup and all of those things because it really helps me think through what I'm going to do. Again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all of your wonderful support, and I will see y'all in the next one. <laughs>